Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Metroid Other M. We are in Sector 1. We are up here. We are, need to go over here. We're not actually going to go directly there. We're going to take a little uh, stroll to the side first. Um, so you might, have, you might have thought, oh man, another locked door at the end of the save room. This is probably a required save point. But it's actually not. Uh, this door will actually stay locked for quite a while. We have to go through it to get to the next uh, objective point, but still, that's going to remain locked for a while. We actually have to go through this door over here, which has a weak spot that can be destroyed by a normal missile. Uh, can we get through? Of course we can get through. We can go into a small ball and, uh, you know, I don't know how that makes physical sense, but we can do it. <laughs> you know, don't question what we can do, question what makes sense. Um, and actually, if you look to your left and right, you will see some giant freaking enemies. Yeah, I can't remember what these are called, but these are freaking massive. <laughs> There's another one on one on the other side as well. I like the way you get to kind of see those from here for, for, for now. I mean, we don't have to fight any yet. <laughs> uh, where should we go? Let's go this way. I think. I think we need to have a break in the bathroom. Yeah, if you come in the bathroom, well, if, sorry, I'll, sorry, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll do this in Nintendo Capri Sun style. If you go in the bathroom, then you can come and get this um, Axel charge. <laughs> that was the worst Nintendo Capri Sun impression ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it makes you charge faster. Is this the first Axel charge we got? I think it is. Uh, basically, charging will never be faster. There's quite a few of these in the game, and they increase. They, they don't actually decrease your charge time by much, but if you get a load of them, then it, then it will later. So yeah, now we've finished our little tour um, in the bathroom. I'm not even gonna try to do it again. I'm I'm terrible at impressions. I always I, I I always have been, always will be terrible, terrible at impressions. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's never mention this again. So yeah, here's an elevator shaft. You kinda of have to just kind of go up to the left and right. It's fairly tedious and monotonous. <laughs> Honestly, these these elevator shafts are just Really time sinks. <laughs> uh, except when you get to the top of this one, you see the elevator's there. Oh, what's an elevator doing in an elevator shaft? Anyway, we need to we need to dislodge that thing. Jeez, that might have been a bad idea. Uh oh, what's this behind us? It's a Garmenian. Uh oh, and that's actually going to start climbing and come towards us. Well, man, we better be quick in whatever we do, which is to come down here, turn around, and. Well, the other side of the elevator. So the elevator falls and destroys that Garmenian in a rather brutal, bloody death. Uh, like, I've never been crushed by, crushed by an elevator, but I imagine just from like hearing the screams of that Garmenian, ow! <laughs> from hearing the screams of that Garmenian, that it would be quite painful. That, that's just ju just my opinion. But anyway, uh, back to the matter at hand. I think. Wait a minute. My my missile pod ten senses my missile tank senses are tingling. <laughs> yeah, this is literally all from memory. All these ones so far. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not missing any. I, either way, at the end of the game, you get a chance to go all over the ship, and all the doors are unlocked. So uh, my sense tingling again. Ah, hello there. Thought I remembered you. I, sometimes my memory is very weird. Like I can't remember anything for school or anything, but no, I, but I can as sure as hell remember a missile tank in a corridor I've only ever been in once. No, the, that's that's totally normal, right? No, I didn't figure so. <laughs> uh, let's just move on. So you got some ice blocks here, like ice block, ice block. Again, this is just a time sink. You know, you just gotta. There's no real point to these, they're not challenging or anything. You just got an ice block, you just got an ice block, and then you got Ah! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here, it's supposed to be an ice block, jeez. Uh, gamers do not make good ice blocks. Seriously. Well, you think it's like he wants to be a mage or something, seriously. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's also an ice block there that leads you up to this kind of ledge thing, but you can't actually do anything here. If you look over there, actually, to in the distance, you can see a. Yeah, I think it's an energy tank. But we can't get it yet. Uh, so let's just keep moving on and getting a missile tank that we just happened to roll into by just holding right. That is the easiest to get missile tank ever. 
Uh, I got some screes in this room. Uh, screes. Scree Screes are probably the, one of my most annoying enemies, personally. Because while they're charging at you, they're invincible and nothing. <laughs> Either way, I, I, I just fired at one that was charged at me and it didn't kill it. Um, and also, these take so many hits to kill, seriously. Ugh. Plus, they, they're, they're really hard to dodge. <laughs> like they're, they, they actually they move deceptively fast. It looks like they move slow, but in reality, it's pretty fast. Uh, let's take him out. Are there any others in this room? I don't think so. So let's get started on clearing out the rubble. You can, you can miss out these way. It looks like they explode, but you don't actually take any damage if you're standing next to them. Uh, the only one you need to destroy is this one over here. And if you go in here, you can get a missile tank. Eventually. There we go. <laughs> Oh jeez, I should not remember all these missile tank locations. I really shouldn't. Uh, screens have come back, of course, because you know, as with all games, you leave a screen and then uh, here they all are again. And now we got a long corridor of plant-related things. Well, you'd never expect plant-related things in the plant sector, really. Ah, grippers. And that's a... Uh, I can't remember the name of these, actually. <laughs> but it's a giant worm. And you'll automatically just jump over it, so it's not really much of a threat, really. Ah, go away! In fact, that, might, that actually might have been one of the two... Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's just keep moving on. Keep on moving on. Uh, can I missile it from this close? Yes, I can. Oh, gripper! Fucking grippers. They just take advantage of you when you're in uh, first-person mode, when you can't move around. Although I have discovered that you can actually uh, sense move while you're in uh, first-person mode. So if an enemy is about to attack you, you can actually still use the directional buttons to um, <coughs> move out of the way. I, I, I actually didn't know that. I'm still learning things about this game. <laughs> things that I'll probably never ever use. Uh, so I think let's go this way now. I can't totally remember... Uh, is this a thing you can use? No, it's not. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, some yeah, someone's knocking on the wall. <laughs> I can never be sure like if someone's knocking on the wall if it's for me or oh god. <laughs> yeah, there's invisible guys in this room. Uh, let's have a missile and then have an overcharge. Uh, overcharge, overblast. Overcharge, overdrive, overblast. These these words all get muddled up to me. I think there's another one as well. I, I saw some uh, spittle coming from this direct, from this general direction. There you are. Just missile you. Overblast you. And then overblast you again. Because there is no cooldown on overblast. You can basically use it repeatedly. And this next room. Is this next room... Oh, it's a save room. I know there's a save room down here. In fact, there is none on the map, so... Oh, there there is. <laughs> Yeah, this this part's one of the areas that you have to kind of wander around. You don't actually get the map before you explore it, like with most places. Because, I mean, we've got the map for up there, we just can't use it yet. <laughs> I don't really know how that works or anything. And these enemies! Oh god, these enemies. This is the, this is the part of the game where they're kind of expecting you to have kind of mastered the controls. You have to be, be able to constantly, repeatedly move in and out of... Um, First person and second person mode, and yeah, I totally fail at it. <laughs> they're only vulnerable when they're actually shooting, so. Nope. Uh, you can see their front kind of opens up. Like. Uh, I'm just waiting for one to do it. That one over there's done it. And now. It, <laughs> and you have to missile it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Freaking. <laughs> The ability to sense move while missiling, you'd think it would help, but it actually uh, doesn't. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. Oh, I, I, I so press missile then. You can... oh. Fine, die. The another annoying thing about this room is there are actually three of them. Yeah, well, as soon as you kill the first one, another one spawns, which is like... You, you kind of get the f feeling, considering how long each one takes to kill, that it's going to probably be an infinite spawn, but it's... But it's only three, and I, and I don't really like when games do that, like... Eh, <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, let's, uh, I'm just going to use the charge shot because it's so much easier than switching to missile view for these guys. Even though it takes so much longer because I think you can kill them probably with just two missiles. Whereas charge shots, it might take about six or seven. Uh, you also have to shoot them in the front, so I, I don't know where I'm jumping. <laughs> come on, come on, Samus, Samus. Seriously, your health's going down. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop letting your health go down. Seriously, this is your responsibility, Samus. Jeez. Uh, uh, they also charge into you, which is really obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> that's really my only reaction at this point. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, come on. I don't know, I always found this boss really annoying. They're not hard tremendously, they're just annoying in that they that their weak time is when they're actually attacking. And all the other bosses have their weak time when they're not attacking, which is it just doesn't make sense. But anyway, here is the Diffusion Beam. It's an upgrade for our normal beam. This is actually one of the few upgrades that she actually picks up picks up in the world rather than um Daddy, sorry, I mean Adam, um, authorizing for her, and it is awesome. Charge up, shoot an enemy, explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Remember how I said um, the charge actually has a kind of a area of effect kind of thing where you you shoot something and some things near it will take damage. It's slightly more obvious now, isn't it? Just a th just saying. Uh, we have to actually kill those fly pods, don't we? Oh. One, two. Three and then we'll come in. Because <laughs> otherwise I would still have gotten a tight there. Uh, and I love how they are like they they give you so many swarms of Rios just so that as soon as you get it, just so you can try it out. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alrighty. I think that's about it. And then we can activate the terminal, and if you look on the screen at the top, you can see Oh man, the door is just unlocked. You know, that ba that door back in the save room where we blasted a, blasted a thing up there, you know. <laughs> uh, what time are we on? Actually, I'm going to quickly save it again. <laughs> I actually don't know what time we're on because I forgot to start my timer, so we could be on 50 minutes for all I, for all I know. But for, that's for all I care. It's because we're going to fight another boss. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh god, it's breaking through the walls. Yeah. So yeah, this boss is uh, is really obnoxious. This boss is called Foon and Namihe. They're also in Super Metroid, I think. Uh, I don't know why I'm charging up, because you can't actually kill the charge shots. Again, this is a fight... This is actually where I got to my first playthrough. I could not get any further than this, because I just had not developed the skills to um, switch between first person and actual third person mode yet, so I just I restarted at this point and then my skin down the second time. But they're not that bad. Um I don't know why I'm trying to shot. So yeah, you saw how I did it with the first guy. Same with the second guy. Missile. There. I think the key here is to not be worried about getting hit. Because I mean if you can get hit and still hit him, then it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. He really does not give you much time to attack him. Like the first one, when there's only one of them, they give you plenty of time to attack him, seriously. But when there's only one, it's like you've got one second... Um, wait, what? Yeah, he, you, you were over there! What? Now you're up there? I've not seen you... There you are! I'm, I hope it was that too late. Wait, no, he's over there. No, he's over there. <laughs> okay, I cannot get this guy down. <laughs> uh, stop being annoying. I remember why I hate this boss now. The first one's not so bad. The second one's just... obnoxious. Missile! Right, there. That, that was a missile! I miss I missiled you in the face, man. Come on, you've clearly not been reading what you're supposed to be doing here. You've clearly not been... Uh, you clearly need to watch more LPs to see what you're supposed to do, babe, because you, you, you're just not doing your job right. Uh, it's just lethal strike this guy, I'm running into him. And there we go, Funin Namihe destroyed. 
And then this kind of hatch opens and... Uh, yeah, that's basically where we're going now. <laughs> I'll really point you out to this hatch because you you uh, otherwise would have to run all the way back. But as it is, plus put an old bomb down and zoom, 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 all the way back here. <laughs> oh, right into the path of a. Uh, I forgot what these guys are called already. <laughs> uh, Ow. Whoa, did I, did I actually get on your head then? Oh, I'm in your mouth. I'm in your mouth. I'm in your mouth. Stop it, dude. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. <laughs> Don't eat me. Seriously. Why Why is everything here obsessed with eating me? I can't. Why? Uh, stop eating me. You know what? Screw you. Screw everything you stand for. I'm going away. I can't be bother dealing with you right now. I have more important things to worry about. Like, how long this episode is. <laughs> oh, gee, oh dear. <laughs> like, seriously, there, there's some recordings where I can just basically ramble on for like half an hour and it will only feel like 10 minutes or like 5 minutes. And there's sometimes when it's like, possibly like now, <laughs> where it feels like I've been recording for an hour. But then I think about it, and I've not actually done anything this episode, really. See, we're, we're, we're basically at the same part we started the episode at, and I'm only on six health. And that was kind of lucky. <coughs> kind of lucky that I made it back to this, um, like back to this save room alive. And in this episode here, the next save room's kind of a long way away, so... I don't know how long this episode is, but I'm going to end the episode here. So, next episode, we're going to continue our trek towards the next objective marker. Continue investigating Sector 1 and try and figure out what the heck has been going on in this bottle ship and not run into waivers. Did he just disintegrate as soon as he hit the door? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I find this hilarious. <laughs> oh, man, he's stuck. <laughs> he, he's, gonna, he's stuck... Um, being a, oh there we go screw you spoil sport see you next time folks